Hey everybody, it's Professor Diffley. So this is Philosophy 201, uh, Ethics in the Modern World. Um, so this is a overview video for mo Module 3. So Module 3 is due at the end of the week, as always, uh, by the end of Sunday. Uh, so right now, just going to show you again what you can see in the module. Uh, the only things you're not going to see here right now are the uh, blog and the exam uh, links, just because they open uh, when the module starts on Monday morning. Um, so as always, there's going to be uh, learning goals and objectives. Uh, this is an overview. This uh, combines the two of them. What we're going to be looking at this week is utilitarianism and Kantian ethics. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, these are the uh, two of the first uh, really big major uh, ethical theories that have uh, really shaped Western uh, thought. Uh, and I say Western, uh, it, it goes beyond that too, but that, that's really what we're focusing on here. Um, and these are the, the uh, most influential, two of the most influential. So we're going to deal with those, then we'll go into some of the others um, uh, in the next module. But uh, utilitarianism and Kantian ethics. Uh, Kantian ethics is often called either formalism or deontological ethics. You'll see that all in the um, uh, the, the selection slides and the text and all that. Uh, so, of course, go over the uh, uh, learning goals and objectives, uh, the required readings uh, for the week. Uh, you're going to say uh, is for this module, Chapter 2 and Chapter 3, and the OER text, uh, and then the uh, lecture slides with notes. Um, and I'm going to do some uh, lecture videos uh, that I go through the slides, so I'll show you that there. Uh, required viewing, uh, the required videos. And then you see, as always, there's going to be a blog and an exam due uh, by the end of the week. Um, for just uh, looking at the videos here, uh, you're going to see that there's a few of them. A lot of them are like a minute and a half. So don't don't get uh, too uh, worried about that. Uh, the two biggest ones and longest ones and also most important are going to be utilitarianism uh, crash course. Uh, this is a really, really good overview of utilitarianism, uh, including critiques, uh, different uh, branches of utilitarianism that are covered in the text uh, and in the lectures. Uh, but this is a really good video for these. Um, if you've never seen these before, the crash course videos are done really well. Um, I use them in other courses in history uh, and here. And what I like about them is they happen to really mirror um, and match uh, what I was going to teach anyway, what's in the text and that. So uh, you get some good information there, but you see it's, it's 10 minutes long as the uh, longest one. And then some of these other ones, right? A minute, 25, a real, real short one. But again, the biggest ones to watch here and pay attention to and take notes on will be the utilitarianism uh, crash course and this one, Kant and the categorical imperatives, uh, these two crash course videos. Um, there are other really good ones in here. So the trolley problem ones, uh, and I'll, I'll get to this uh, in the lecture slides. Uh, there's two different versions of here. One is from TED Ed, uh, one is from the BBC. Um, both really good. Obviously, you can see the uh, uh, difference in time here. Uh, one just goes a little bit more in depth there. Um, and then Kant's acts. Um, and these are, you're going to see these uh, come up uh, in the lecture slides and all that. So, uh, I also added one other on here, the mother fork and Morkel, uh, morals by to Dr. Todd May. Uh, if you guys have never seen this show, uh, it was on, um, it's off the air now. They finished the series, but the good place, um, this show was hilarious. Uh, I honestly think it's one of the funnier shows I've seen in a long time and it somehow deals with ethics. So again, I even give it even more, um, uh, you know, props for that, for being not only funny, but dealing with really important topics and doing it really well. Like, and uh, uh, one of the reasons they do this, they have this uh, uh, a philosopher, Todd May, uh, who oversees the show and helps them get that part right. But it is hilarious. Um, I put this in here um, because it's and I'll add the utilitarianism one because they have that for that there, too. Um, these are just really funny. It, it's that lighten things up, but they are e excellent dead on. Um, discussions of these topics. So again, like I said in here, it's an excellent summary, uh, but it's also funny. So if you want to lighten it up, because, you know, again, uh, uh, you know, the, the Crash Course videos do a good job of adding some comedy and uh, making it a little light, but obviously philosophy, things like that can be a little heavy <clears throat> in terms of reading and so, some of the things you think about. So it's always uh, good to laugh, uh, and that's what I think. And I'll add the uh, utilitarianism one in here. So, but the uh, mother fork and morals. Uh, if you never saw, so, saw the show Good Place, again, it's about uh, uh, what happens when we die, uh, these people caught in uh, the afterlife, uh, and what gets you into either the good place or the bad place, right? So a concept of the good place would be like, you know what, uh, you might, might conceive of having the bad places, obviously like a, a hell, the underworld, that sort of thing. Um, but again, these are gonna be in there to uh, uh, just add a little levity. Um, but a great, great show. 
Um, and uh, you'll find it uh, useful there. Uh, on to the uh, uh, last part of this overview thing. Again, the text, uh, the OER text, um, you can jump through. Uh, there's two chapters here, uh, Utilitarianism and Kantian Ethics. Um, you'll know again, uh, and I did this as well back in the uh, Learning Goals and Objectives, uh, wherever I could, I put in links to the uh, videos, the required videos, so that you're, uh, it's easy to jump back and forth there, like this experience machine thing. Um, but in the text, uh, again, as you're going through, I added them, I added them in the learning objectives here. Again, so I show, I also put them here. Uh, there's key terms. Uh, so it's always good to uh, be able to uh, take notes and define these things uh, and, uh, and understand. So obviously, if it's a key term. It's going to be important, right? If it's over here in the objectives, it's going to be important. It's going to show up on uh, exams and blogs and uh, later as we, uh, uh, you know, write, write a little bit longer uh, in some of those, uh, you know, response papers, reflection papers, sort of things that we'll do later. Um, but again, uh, you know, use these hyperlinks. Again, you can uh, go by doing, uh, you can see this navigation here. When you're in Word, go to View. Uh, you go to, I'm sorry, go to View and then make sure you click Navigation Pane here and then you can uh, click through and jump through. Um, for the most part, uh, the uh, lecture slides as you're gonna see are going to uh, follow the same order more or less as the uh, text. The only difference is there, there might be some differences like I think in the, uh, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, in the slides I put the, I, I put the uh, Novix experience machine uh, a little bit later and things like that. So, but again, go through, uh, try to break up the reading as you go during the week. Uh, I, you know, made in bold, uh, you know, key terms and things like that through there, uh, important stuff. So, but be able to go through and you can just jump and go through. Uh, there's also at the bottom, at the end of them, uh, common mistakes. These are things to think about. And these, are, oop, I lost that there. Uh, these issues to consider, they're exactly that. So they help you frame uh, what you're reading um, and get you start thinking before you get into the blog. So it's also helpful to uh, uh, read these. Um, so that's it for the intro video. I will see you in the uh, uh, lecture slides. But of course, if you got any questions, email me uh, directly. That's the best way to get in touch. All right. Thanks.